That's for science. I'm getting my blood drawn because I want to debunk the aspiration myth. So, so this is Mythbusters, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can aspirate blood that is a little bit thinned with citrate using these four fillers and with the needles that come with each of these fillers. So I've drawn the blood, as you've seen previously. I'm going to put it into this disport vial. Okay, I'm going to use two, two vials here. And I use that citrate so it doesn't clot. And then I'm going to put these caps on. And I'm going to start with, these are all leftover syringes that I'm not using anymore. So I'm going to start with lift. And as you see, it's, it's the needle that comes with the lift. It's the 30 gauge. And I'm going to see if I can aspirate. Now keep in mind, this syringe is half full. That means that I'm able to withdraw it much further than if the syringe was full. By being half full, I can create a lot more negative pressure in this syringe. So see the blood is freely flowing, and now I'm going to put it in, and now I'm going to aspirate, okay? And voila, there is blood coming into this. So actually it works with Restylane lift. Let's see if it works with the others. So this is Restylane refine. Restylane refine. Okay, aspiration, blood. Okay, so actually aspiration works with Restylane refine too. Let's do the aspiration with silk. Here we go with silk. Aspiration. Aspiration works with silk. So, there was a Dr. Carey and a, and a Dr. Susan Winkle who did a study that said that the aspiration didn't work. And I was trying to redo their study to see if it worked or it didn't work. So actually, I debunked their study that said it, aspiration didn't work. So uh, I didn't debunk the aspiration. I don't, I, I didn't dilute this with anything, but you can see that the aspiration doesn't work very well with Bellotero. So as we can tell, with all the rest of Lingalderma products, it did work but it does not work with Bellotero. So that's a good thing. That's a positive for the Galderma products. Aspiration does work with the Galderma products. I don't have any of the Allergan products on hand, but if they want to send them to me, I'll do this trick with them too. So Mythbusters, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't bust them. Aspiration does work for the Galderma products, at least for refine, lift, and silk. There's all kinds of theories about aspiration, but the one that I frequently hear is that when you aspirate, you have to pull back on the syringe and hold it there for five seconds. But as you saw from my simple experiment, you didn't need to do that. If you aspirated, it almost immediately came into the syringe. Keep in mind that all the syringes I used today were already half used. So the back or, or this vacuum was much greater than if the syringe was completely full. So keep that in mind. I didn't test the full syringes. Well, my little study I just did, or test you can call it, goes against what I heard in Australia, which was presented by Wayne Carey. And he did it in conjunction with Susan Winkle. And what he said is he tested many of the fillers. And I don't remember the specific ones, but he said that most of them maybe with an exception of two or three, did not aspirate. And that aspiration was not a reliable safety uh, factor in injection. So th this is, I, I thought I was gonna debunk the aspiration theory when I started because I was gonna go by what Wayne Carey told me, but actually this contradicts Wayne Carey's study. So let me just summarize what I just did. I drew some of my blood, I mixed it with a little citrate so it wouldn't coagulate, and I put it into a little vial. 
Then I aspirated with four different fillers, Lift, Refine, Silk, and Belotero. And I found that the first three, the Galderma products, did aspirate blood, reflex blood, within split seconds of my pulling back the plunger. So what you can conclude from this is that, at least with my little test, that reflux does occur with those three products. However, don't let that fool you because when you do aspirate, oftentimes the needle isn't in the exact position uh, when you're injecting that you tried the aspiration. So just let that just be another factor in safety and to avoid vascular occlusions.